Hello YouTube. Apparently something is making this floor get wet. You can see I've started to rip it up. I am going to rip it completely up to see what is going on with this wet spot. I don't know if it's the toilet flushing and leaking when I flush it or if it... I have never noticed this until now. I don't know if you can hear the noise but the AC is blowing. I do have the vent fan running right there in the uh, bathroom. And there is a wet spot right here. Humongously wet. Not Originally I saw a little spot. I thought it was just like the carpet. Like worn. But now I see it as like a huge wet spot. So I am going to rip up this entire carpet here. And get to the wood and try to figure out where the leak is coming from. Because this is obviously going to ruin everything and make the floor get weak if I don't resolve it. So I got pliers that I'm using to just kind of help me pull this out and I, I'm getting ready to cut here because I guess the uh, the carpet might go underneath the toilet. So trying to pull it might end up pulling the toilet apart. So for now we're going to try to cut it with a, a razor blade. Actually uh, I'm not going to use a razor blade, I'm going to use these shears. These are uh, metal cutting shears that I bought. But I found that they do a real good job of like cutting, you know, like this and just slowly cutting along the edge. So I'm going to cut up to the edge and then use the pliers to pull all this out because it is kind of hard to pull. And I started to pull it and it ripped apart here. So I'm going to cut again and then I'll, I'll slowly uh, cut out the edges. Having carpeting in the bathroom seems like a really bad idea. Um, especially when there's a, a leak coming from somewhere. And I looked up at the uh, the ceiling, suspecting that water was coming in somehow. But I don't see any wet stuff up here, so it must be coming from the floor. And it didn't seem to occur till I'm here at the RV park and I have the air conditioner running. So I'm thinking maybe condensation is forming under there somehow. But it seems really weird to have condensation down there when the AC is up here and all the ducts and stuff. All the vents and everything are, are up above, so... I do wonder where the drain for the AC goes to, because normally in a house AC, it drains the water, the condensation, out somewhere. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I do know the AC looks funky. I, I found the, the cover that goes kind of on that, I guess, but it looked kind of weird, so I might end up fixing the AC with no cover, the, the ceiling with no AC cover. <laughs> That's going to look kind of weird, not like a regular RV. Uh, but anyhow, let me go ahead and, and deal with this and uh, we'll see what we find up underneath there as I rip all this out. As you can see, there definitely is a wet spot here. I have no clue where the water is coming from. But this wood is going to end up rotting and falling through if this isn't handled correctly. It might have been part of the leak. I don't know why it's wet here. It did not rain today and it was dry earlier. It seems... Ah, uh, you know what? There may be a leak underneath the wood. Because I hooked up the city water. I'm wondering if a pipe underneath is spraying water up. Like if there's a busted hole in the pipe, it may be spraying up water from underneath. So I may have to crawl under there and take a look. Because that is a lot of water. And the wood is totally soaked. So I wonder if it's spraying up water from underneath the, um, the RV. I think for now I may go ahead and turn off the city water. And see if that resolves the problem. 